So I'm going to write a letter to the Minister of Tourism. Is that also half of our day? No, 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 stop! <laughs> you are stop. making a crime. Now you need to go back. Do it again? To, no, oh. to your client. <laughs> you've seen us having only fun but of course there needs to be work done as well so we're now on our way to different companies to present our business proposal so let's see what they think of it of course we have to start our day with some fresh coconut water so cheers one hour later we have arrived at our first destination a lot of traffic oh. and we are swimming <laughs> saw drips my hair is soaking wet we are sweating and even the air conditioning was on in the car thank you we're off to a great start because already our first company we cannot find and nobody knows where it is so we're thinking it might be this place let's see we cannot find it so now we're just going into a random company that we saw on the way a few moments later. Het ijs is gebroken. <laughs> yes, first company down. We got a business card. Yes. To email. Oh, <laughs> Stephen dropping. We lost the business it. card. We lost them. We lost the companies. <laughs> so we're gonna email them with our proposal. Yes. I thought our car was open, but that's a different. I thought our <laughs> car was open, but that's that's our car, not this. Katie has a new car. <laughs> we just spent about one hour at the printing shop, and then finally it got printed <laughs> but the ink was done yes so we still paid but we yeah. don't have the documents uh well at least we cannot use the documents so i think we're looking for a new printer shop now right yeah yeah so far we spent two or three hours yes. already one company down yes okay let's go to the see if the printer is here yes Baby, in spite of the body stretching out your pinstripes, got so much to tell you. Come on inside. Hey, James Bond. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yes, perfect. <laughs> you was MIA from the invite. Wanna give me dabs with my hands tied? Enjoyment. To the fullest. <laughs> Enjoying my yeah. <laughs> it's just salad. It's salad. We now have 20 business proposals that we are gonna give to different companies. I don't know what she was doing. Oh counting his money. You see he got sick up red bread. I bet you gon' like baby. No, towards the company. Yeah. Thank you. So we just came from the DHL main office yes. and it was a really really good conversation I think we spent an hour or longer yeah. um, but the lady that talked to us she was super into fitness so that's good yeah she was very enthusiastic enthusiastic enthusiastic, enthusiastic. so is that was half of our day yes and now we we only we visited two companies now. Yeah. Mm. And how many did we want to visit today? Like 20. 20. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So the zero we forgot to <laughs> subscribe it off. Yes. So we just do no, we're gonna go to the next company now, but I think we can do two or three more and then Yes. That's it. That's it. But better one high quality. Wait, let me close the door. Better one or two high quality than five or six. Uh, yes. Low quality people that aren't even that you don't even speak to, so yeah. definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Worth yes. it. Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> so 
for some reason we are nowhere allowed to park Back. backwards. backwards. We have to go in with the front, but that's the most annoying way of parking yeah, ever. If they see you, they will say, no, 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 stop. You are stop. making a crime. <laughs> Turn but around. It's very annoying. Look at this car. Turning, turning, going yes. back. That, that car behind me. It's going to do 3,000 3, times. Yes. Here is your water, miss. Please, bring your hands. I'm going to clean your hands for you. Guys. This is my first day. Don't tell my bosses. I need both hands. Thank you. Do everything properly. Yes, let me throw this some. Is it hot? No. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Do you want to as well? No, I don't want it. I don't like it. Wait, let me do it for you. Look what you have done. Why? Look what you have done. I want you to do it. Done. You didn't even help me. I have tried to. We read online that if you drink coke with your um, meal, that it helps to digest if you're uncertain about the meal. So now, every time when we eat, I'm drinking a coke because I have a weak ass stomach. Yes, so since doing that, Katie hasn't been sick. Yes. So I'm going to write a letter to the Minister of Tourism <laughs> uh, that they should put this in their letters to people that come into Ghana. <laughs> Take every meal a Coke that will keep the doctors away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't want this choice, but because of Katie. We're going to split. Gonna split what? Eat the jollof or splitting the jo splitting the jollof. Split in the middle. So that is less spicy. Okay, guys, last company of today. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> not again, again. <laughs> Okay guys, last company of today. We've had a lot of companies today that we spoke to the HR manager. Um, there's also been a lot of companies that only wanted to see the proposal. So uh, we delivered the proposal and hope to hear back from them soon. We had a really fun and productive day visiting all those companies. But of course, it wouldn't be an ambitious day if we didn't get a workout in. Let's go to the gym. Okay guys, so we were working out and guess what? Somebody came and asked if Katie could give her a routine because the trainers are not here and they saw that this woman is a trainer. <laughs> this woman is so far that she's a trainer. They wanted to ask you but everybody's afraid of you. No, 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 no. Now you need to go back. Do it again? To, no, oh. to your client. I'm going to do three sets and then she comes and fight me. Ah, uh, okay. Let's so. go. Uh, Katie's client has left the building. The client is there. Katie's here. How was it? It was very easy <laughs> okay. to follow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and because it's actually my first time going to the gym. To the gym. Wow. Yeah. At all. Yes. At all. Yeah. So it's very easy to to follow, and yeah. it doesn't feel intimidating. No, it's not. Good. Is I'm is happy. she not like like the devil? No, <laughs> she's very easy to meet. Okay. Like, okay. She's very, <laughs> I told her to say this. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, Put the gun away. Put that gun away, <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> Tells me or educate me about the equipment because I am actually totally zero knowledge zero about new. everything. Yeah, and I am really thankful, grateful to. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so much great, great trainer. <laughs> So as you guys just saw, we had a very busy but very productive day, but we still found some time 
to do this end of the video for you because we have an important and maybe even a little bit of a controversial topic Hmm. Now I'm mute and curious at the same time. <laughs> the topic for today is single friends will let you stay single, will make you stay single. True or false? <sighs> this difficult one. Single friends will let you stay single. Mm. I think that could be true. I think that could be really true. Because I'm, I'm just thinking about my friends. If they were single and I became single, would I then, the chance would be greater that I would stay single. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because now my, most of my friends are in relationship. So I think they will also try to help me to get in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I'm thinking very hard about this. If you say that's true, friends, your friends or friends in general, would purposely let you stay single so that you can all enjoy the single life together? Or do you think it goes unconsciously where the friends make you stay single because everybody is single, nobody's really busy with a relationship, oh. and they don't purposely sabotage you finding a relationship, but it just happens. What do you think? I think it will happen unconsciously because they, they, they are single. They will try to take you out to places where only single people are or people that it's difficult to get a relationship with. So I think that will happen more often, but also I don't know if it's me, but I think I have, I don't know why, maybe because of my sisters. I, I'm a little bit biased because I have a lot of sisters. So sometimes some stuff I just based on them. I think girls have more friends that if they are single, will do more purposely some stuff so that they will stay single than guys. I don't see it that way. Mm -hmm. I see it as equally because yeah. I know of many stories where there's a big group of guys and then one guy gets maybe into a relationship the other guys don't really take that relationship too serious and they still try to maybe fix him up with other girls or do things that would maybe sabotage the relationship that's that's right yeah but then i see it more like that happens unconsciously mm -hmm. and the, the other side it happens more with intent maybe the bond between girls are different than a bond between guys i don't know Okay, I sort of get what you mean because if a bunch of girls are uh, dancing or in the yeah. club and they go out and then one of the girls gets into a conversation with a guy, if it's a big group of girls, usually the other girls don't mind. But if it's just two girls and one girl gets off with another guy, then the other girl might feel left alone, usually doesn't really appreciate it yeah. compared to maybe when two guys are at the club and one of the guys is talking to a girl. He encountered that. We went out with a friend and he was single. There were two girls and we left them alone. And then the two girls, one hook up with the other guy, guy that left that girl, and then the friend of ours was with that girl the whole time. They having a good time. And that girl came and took that friend away from my friend. And that friend did give up her day just to be there for that girl. It's difficult to see a guy group doing that kind of stuff. But then again, I think that goes more for things like one night stands because a guy will support another guy if he scores a girl but less so if he gets into a relationship because why else would girls celebrate so hard when one of their friends gets engaged or married compared to guys that's not because we don't encourage marriage but it's just because we are less involved with 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 emotion yeah i don't know it's less emotions so a girl could be very rude to a guy and that guy will be like over it faster than a guy being very rude to a girl that has more damage made in her the person that's more damaged will try to protect the other person so it's like a protecting mechanism mm -hmm. like it happened to me it can happen to you maybe unconsciously they try to protect their own but that way they make them say single. Be single friends will make you say single because sometimes you will talk about some subject that they don't really think about it and then they will just give you bad advice. I agree on one hand. On the other hand, somebody has to break the chain and somebody has to go into the relationship first and the rest will follow. So yeah, you cannot just throw yourself into a new friendship group with, full of people that are already in a relationship and then it will happen for you to get a relationship. I think you can get a relationship either way. It's just maybe a little bit harder if you're in a group full of single people. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comments whether you think single friends will make you stay single or not and whether there's a difference between 
boy single friends and girl single friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe because Ambitious made you do it. Let's go.